Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Reviving a program, Kelvin Sampson left for dead. Three Sweet 16s and two Big Ten titles in the last five seasons. All that, not enough for Tom Crean to keep his job, as after nine seasons, Crean fired by Indiana University. The timing down in Bloomington somewhat odd. The university making the announcement right as the NCAA tournament tipped off. Coincidentally, it's an NCAA tournament that does not include the Hoosiers. Despite beating Kansas and North Carolina early in the season, IU didn't live up to those lofty expectations. And in a way, that sums up the Tom Crean era as a whole. IU Athletic Director Fred Glass now turns one of the country's most revered programs to a different direction. Ultimately, we seek more consistent, high levels of success, and we will not shy away from our expectations. Nine seasons, 166 wins, 135 losses. Tom Crean's number is up down in Bloomington. This was a decision that I made not because I thought it was popular, um, because popular tends to change, but it was the decision I thought I needed to make because it was right. The right man for the job is Glass's next point of business. Rather than waiting for the summer where Crean's buyout would have dropped from $4 million to $1 million, the Hoosiers are paying a premium to make a change now. I don't have uh, someone in the bag. I haven't reached out to anybody. That, that In two days we're going to have somebody. I think this is probably going to be a bit of a, a process. Um, but sure, I've got an idea of the kind of people and some specific people I'd want to go after. Glass says he won't form a search committee and that he'll be solely responsible for the search and hire. Brad Stevens, Steve Alford, Dane Fife, among the many names being speculated. I'm, I'm confident that we'll get the coach we want to meet our expectations. I'm not sure Bobby Knight won the press conference when he was 31 years old coming from Army. So um, we're not gonna, our goal is not going to be to win the press conference. Our goal is going to be to get the person we think can meet the very clear expectations.